Hello, children. You know me, I'm Douglas. I've missed reading to you, and so is Lily. She'd like to say hello to you for a little bit. Hi, I'm Lily. You're my very best friend. Thank you, Lily. I want to read this book to you. It is called Millie's Marvelous Hat. It's written by Satoshi Kitamura. So let's go on this one. And here we see it in the beginning. And sometimes I have a little trouble turning the pages, but we begin. Millie was walking home from school when she came across a hat shop. There were lots of hats in the window, but the one she liked best was the one with the feathers. You see the hat shop there with all those hats? Millie went inside. May I see the hat with the colorful feathers, please? She asked the man behind the counter. See the man behind the counter? Certainly, madam, replied the man, and he fetched the hat from the window. Now, that's rather silly, because you don't call a little girl madam, but he did. Millie tried it on. There it is. It suited her perfectly. I'll take it, she said. An excellent choice, madam, said the man. That will be that will be five hundred and ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Oh my goodness! Millie opened her purse and looked inside. Oh dear, she said. Do you have anything that's a little less expensive? Well, what sort of price were you thinking of, madam? Asked the man kindly. Well, about this much, she said, and she showed her purse. It was empty. I see," muttered the man, and he looked up the up at the ceiling there. Millie looked up the ceiling too. It was covered with interesting patterns. Aha," said the man suddenly. "I think I have just the thing for you, madam. Wait here a moment, please." And away he went to the back of the shop. A few minutes later, he returned. With a box in his hand, see the box right there. He placed it on a table, and removed the lid. This is a most marvelous hat, madam," said the man. "It can be any size, shape, or color you wish. All you have to do is imagine it." Carefully, the man took the hat out of the back box and put it in Millie's hand. It fitted her perfectly. Do you see the hands? There's nothing there, but he says it fits her perfectly. Thank you," said Millie. "I like it very much." She put her hand in her purse and handed the man all she had in it, which was nothing. "Thank you, madam," said the man. "Would you like your hat in a box?" "No, thank you," said Millie. "I'll take it just as it is." Millie felt happy in her new hat. But now I must think what my hat is going to look like," she thought. Perhaps it has lots of feathers, like the one in the shop window. Only even more feathers. What could it be? It was a peacock hat. Can you imagine? That's the hat she was wearing because she imagined it. Millie stopped outside the cake shop and looked in the window. She's looking in the window. So Millie had a cake hat. Look at all those cakes on her head. Oh my goodness! What an imagination. She's a good imagination woman. When Millie passed the flower shop, her hat became flowery. Look at that. Wherever she wants it to be, it can be. You can do that too sometimes. Just use your imagination. And I'm imagining I'm turning the page. <laughs> And in the park, look at this. In the park, she wore a fountain hat. We have a fountain out here in the terrace garden, you know, here in Bayview. You've probably seen that. Suddenly, Millie saw that she was not the only one with a special hat. Look at this person here, <laughs> and look at all the children there with their little hats in the park. Everyone had a hat of their own. Look at all those different hats, and they were all different. Oh my goodness! I can't point them all out all to you. There are so many different hats here. 
she saw an old lady who was wearing a dark, murky pond hat. Millie smiled at her and the birds and the fish jumped out of Millie's hat and onto the old lady's. Now look at her. The lady has fish and birds in it because Millie made them come there. From her imagination, of course, Millie felt like singing. And so did her hat. La 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 I love my hat so much. I love it so much. By the time Millie arrived back home, her hat had grown so tall, she couldn't walk through the door. So she thought of another hat. How do, here she comes in. How do you like my new hat? Right there, do you see? New hat, said her mom, but, but you haven't. Then she stopped and smiled. It's a mar, then the mom says, it's a marvelous hat, Millie. I wish I had one too. You do have one, said Millie. You only have to imagine it. And she was right. Everyone has their own marvelous hat. What do you think of that? And you can imagine something too, all by yourselves. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story and I hope you use your imagination. You know, we're all shuttered away. I hope I'm doing another video for you. I am certainly looking forward to the time I can come down to the intergenerational school and start reading you again. I miss you, miss you children so much.